Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars with an emergency alert. I don't usually do this type of thing. I'm more into discussing politics and what's going on than I am worrying about the end of the world or anything like that. And this isn't the end of the world, but the UN is planning something September 20, September 19th, 2016. Uh... It's right here in black and white. Now, Peter D. Sutherland is a wicked, wicked man. He's, uh, works for Goldman Sachs, going to Alex Jones. I haven't checked that out. He also works for the UN, uh, with their migrant, one of their migrant agencies. Look at his media contact. Zena Arafat. Sounds interesting. Or if she's uh related to the other Arafat there. Middle East. Anyway. Uh this year at this moment in history the looking the world is looking to us. Unbelievable. People in this room and those who be gathering in these halls in the coming weeks and months are responsible for helping solve one of the most hum serious humanitarian and political crises in des decades. The ones who should be si solving this are oil-rich countries like Saudi Arabia. They have a similar, they have the same religion, similar culture, similar everything. They're the ones that should be taking these migrants in. Uh, just, I'm going to skip around. Just this week, we learned that Mediterranean Theater alone, the European officials believe some 40,000 people constitute a vast smuggling enterprise that will reap up, upwards of 10 billion euros this year. Profits per wine from desperate Syrian families. In so many cases, who raise funds by selling their homes at fire sale prices to Flee aerial bombings. Almost half a million have perished in Syria. Thousands more have died trying to reach safety. And it goes on and on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to skip down. We must, I'm going to skip down to number 14. This is uh, an official UN document, by the way. So it's unimpeachable as far as what it says. Number 14, so we must move through this year with exceptional urgency and serious sense of purpose. Challenges might even run, but preconditions for progress exist. In fact, you have built them through your efforts over the past decade. Which means the UN has been uh, working to undermine our national sovereignty and other Western nations as well. Ten years ago, we created the Global Forum, which is now a backbone of interstate understanding on mig migration. The IOM has grown in size, sophistication, and importance under the leadership of Bill Swing. Our collective efforts over the Past three years led to migrations, inclusion in the SDGs, creating a fundamental stepping stone toward greater cooperation. The CMG, together with the informal quartet under the aegis of DSG Eliasson, have helped focus efforts on the UN system. And blah blah blah. So I'm going to skip to number 18. We have three main goals this year, in my view. First, we must use this political movement to, movement to generate commitments to specific improvements in the international refugee protection system and to reducing the vulnerability of all migrants. Number 20, the moment of truth will be on September 19th. Uh, see, I'm not BSing you about that date. We must reach that day 
with a consensus on shared responsibility for forced migrants. Sporting refugees is not an option. It's not optional. It's a shared global responsibility. So they're going to try to force this no matter what. Well, they'll have Obama's uh, complete cooperation. We've already seen that. No longer can we go from year to year, crisis to crisis, begging for pledges, pledges that often as not aren't as good as the paper they're written on. Our ambition should be to, to define what it costs to support migrants and countries that host them as if they were doing their own family's budget and collectively generating necessary funding. Not on a last month, minute, year to year basis, but within the context of a long term plan. We must also expand our capacity to host refugees through resettlement and through other legal pathways. In other words, they're going to force these countries to take them in. And it's simply unacceptable that 10 countries take the, on the lion's share of the burden while that 86% of the refugees reside in the developing world and that fewer than 100,000 are resettled every year. I'm going to boil this down. This boils down to a major attack on uh, our national sovereignty and that of any other first world country. And target date, like I said, is September 19th. It's barely a month away. I don't know what they're going to do. This is a little vague. But it looks like trouble to me. Migrants must have a voice within this house as well as an agency robust enough to lead policy development and implementation. I have no doubt the only IOM can play this role. It should be brought into the UN family on terms acceptable to its members. Therefore, we must take this tool called the SDGs, make something of it, a blueprint for safe, productive mobility that helps migrants, their families, and their countries of origin to thrive while diffusing the xenophobic reactions that poison our politics. In other words, they're going to tell you and me that we don't have a say in this. This is not about the saying, uh, um, an indicator of three. It's about defining a vision on which we can agree to deliver. This goes on and on. This is some kind of trouble. I'm not even 100% certain what they're planning. I can say that, um, uh, Gene through a certain magnifying device was usually about uh, 8 power or so a blue helmet looks mighty uh, fine now doesn't it? I think I can say that I love those blue helmets when I uh, look at them through a telescopic device. I think we can say that. They're beautiful, aren't they? We're in trouble, folks, okay? Uh, we don't have any friends in the government right now. I'm desperately hoping we get Trump in there. Because right now... We have no friends in our government, nobody on the people's side, nobody on the side of those of us who say we need to slow this stuff down and make sure we keep out the bad guys before we bring in any so-called migrants. That's what needs to happen. And that is a monster, monster task. But right here, it's right here in black and white. They want to undermine our sovereignty. 
when target date is September 19th. Keep that date in mind. Don't know what's going to happen. Not making any predictions. Looks like trouble, though. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.